What you're watching now is Ropos being launched. And as you can see, it's quite a large piece of machinery and vehicle that we use. So it takes a lot. We need a huge crane to putting Ropos down to keep it under control. We also need, I think there's usually about eight to ten, five to ten people out on deck, and that mainly is the Ropos operators and then crew from the Thompson who are out there to help guide Ropos down into the water, make sure that everyone on board has a safe launch and that Ropos itself or the ship isn't hurt when we launch Ropos. So Ropos will go down. It sits in what they call a cage or garage, and that'll help it keep stable. So it's connected to the ship by cable, but any movement that the ship does while it's at sea, if there's heavy seas, will affect Ropos. So there's a garage in the middle to, to balance out that motion. And therefore, the Ropos, the vehicle, the remote-operated vehicle, can then come, come out of the garage and explore whatever we're trying to look at. Um, Ropos moves, I don't, I don't know how fast it moves. When we're towing it with the ship, we go about a knot. So a knot's pretty comparable to a mile per hour. Um, so fairly slow, very, very slow. But that's usually, we're usually doing work with it. We're usually working in one area where we don't need to move around too much. And Ropos has two arms. It has a seven function hand and a five function hand. So we can do amazing things. I mean, I've seen the Ropos operators. They can pick up the tiniest little thing with the claw. They can open things down there. They can hook things back up. And you'll see they, another part of the creative process of being at sea is all these tools that scientists have to come up with to use with Ropos. If you're creating an experiment to, to stay down there, say um, sometimes they we put down um, sensors that collect data on pressure or temperature, or we put down traps that are going to collect um, biological creatures and try and bring them up later. We ha everything has to be made so that these, these five finger, these three prong hands can function and open it and make sure that it gets out of the Ropos vehicle and back into it. So it's just, it's a to watch. Um, the operators of Ropos and any probably remote operated vehicle try and do this. We have some great footage of us trying to collect a shrimp. And you'll hear it in their silence and this suction's coming around and it's like, oh, oh, and then they get it and the whole crowd just cheers because they finally sucked up this one little shrimp.